All Blacks him up. trying to get the nudge first. Crouch and Captain and said forward. if they do it again, he'll penalise them. Good scrum, yeah, Ireland. Stringer for O'Gara, looking for a gap, but it's uh, closed down pretty quickly. All Blacks conscious of leaving the odd gap in midfield last week. Determined not to this week. Quickly taken by Stringer, passing up the chance for three points. Back it goes to O'Connell on the charge. Bounced out of the tackle of Kelleher. And Ireland, he's still going! Paul O'Connell has walks through the All Black defence to score. Well, it looked to me like he got tackled, but he wasn't held, so he just kept on going. Interpretation of the referee. Look at the All Black defenders. I think they stopped, Smithy. I think they thought that he was he was grounded, but he didn't have any thoughts about that himself. Look at this. This is from a tap. Stringer took it early. Look, at Kelleher gets bounced away. He's on the ground there, and actually, I think maybe the All Blacks thought that Mully Aina might have had it or whatever, but O'Connell, well, he won't get much easier tries than that. Yeah, I think they thought he might have offloaded to uh, Jordan Murphy coming in behind him there, right there yep. in the black sleeves, and he was the one they focused the attention on. He was gone. And this is the bloke, Drakey, who looked so frustrated at the end of the game last week, O'Connell, when he was the one that caused the turnover at the end when the All Blacks scored that, uh, that uh, nail, I guess, in the coffin try to finish the game off. So they feel a bit better about life now. Well, the All Blacks would be disappointed. This was from a quick tap. This defence, it was on the blind side. The momentum kept on going. Pretty skinny stuff here. Look, they're all their heads up. They're looking for what's going to happen next. No one bothered getting hold of this guy. Well, he didn't appear to be held in the tackle.